Aquarius, hi, and welcome to your reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Aquarius. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. If you're new, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These are timeless and general love tarot readings. So only take what resonates and let's jump right into it, Aquarius, and see um, what spirits want you to know. I'm going to begin today's reading just with some energy oracles and self-care messages for you. Please, spirit, what are your messages? What's, what is it that Aquarius should pay attention to? Security. It says true security comes from having a reserve of time, space, energy, personal power and love. Make deposits in all these accounts and you will be a wealthy person indeed. So it's asking you to pay attention to all areas of your life including love, including finances, including time. Time is um, so important to have some time for yourself. Take a little bit of time out of the day, of the craziness of our work, families, and well, any other demands. Just some time for ourselves. It's so important for a balanced life. Let's see. So, in other words, everything is important here. Personal power. Banks of self-care. Everything. Love, health, time for ourselves, energy, personal power. I feel meditation is really great, especially um, something that helps to align chakras and that source of personal power. What else for Aquarius? Please show me. What are other messages here? And we have protection. Okay, there is a need to protect um, your assets, um, yourself, you know, your family, your home. So just take care of things like, you know, make sure you don't leave without not locking the door. Or you, you know, go to sleep and windows on the lower ground are maybe not secure or open, it's just basics. But there is a need and, and a message that there is a need for protection. Okay. No, I didn't, I forgot about this. I need that time of the day. And we need a little bit of light. Salmon and rising. What's happening, Aquarius? What's happening? Love relationships. Aquarius. Love and relationships. Okay. There is Ace of Swords, communication, clarity, truth being spoken, Two of Wands. Someone made a decision in the past. We have Knight of Wands here as the overall energy. So there is a decision, there, there was a decision made in the past or approach 
let's say someone's been um, thinking about making some changes and making a decision. The Knight of Wands, it's a beautiful energy. It's a very passionate, very driven, very, you know, free energy. Um, it's an energy of someone who doesn't easily attach themselves to people for long. Now, we have Ace of Swords and the King of Swords going into the future. So there's definitely some clarity. Something is really becoming here. Clear. I feel it's like a aha moment. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more what's that Ace of Swords here. Okay, Four of Pentacles. There is Ace of Pentacles. One more. Okay, I feel um, someone is becoming aware that um, they might regret some decisions. They might regret that they haven't put an effort into something that is, you know, um, and I will talk about love and romance and you know, since this is a love reading. So I feel someone's regretting something here. Some sort of behavior. I feel this behavior is very much so, you know, I, the regret it's related to that knight of wands behavior. Meaning someone who doesn't attach. Someone who just wants very superficial connection. Someone who's uh, on and off and inconsistent. Someone who... Promises, but doesn't deliver. So these three, I feel someone is becoming aware that, you know, this is a clarity that came because someone really started feeling regret. There is an Ace of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. There is an energy of some kind of new beginning, very like genuine and very grounded and solid new beginning that isn't being expressed because of the four of pentacles. And I feel this is um, very much so really related to that. So I feel someone's making decisions now in the round, uh, uh, you know, if this person Aquarius has been on and off, in the, you know, inconsistent. Then a, um, I feel this person a, does realize the fact that they have been holding on to offer that they would like to extend to you, and also they are very much aware that you know. This connection uh, won't grow unless they are going to change. Tell me more about the Two of Wands, that decision. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Hierophant. Two of Pentacles. So there could have been a case of someone you know, may have been on and off, inconsistent, but they fell in love. Why do I think this way? We have Ace of Pentacles here that someone's holding on to. And they know, they know down deep they are holding on to this and they are not extending that offer of, sell, of, of Ace of Pentacles. Meaning they don't want to take it to the next level or they don't want to become more consistent and, and start, stop... Um, to other people, stop disappearing, stop just promising and recrumbing. You know, the two of wands here in the past, it's clarified with Hierophant of 
Pentacles and Queen of Cups. And I feel literally that on the side, one side here, one side of that juggling is the commitment that is connected to you know, love that this person felt for you. And on the other end of this juggling act is that energy of inconsistent, you know, relationship, of inconsistent lover, of someone who, you know, breadcrumbs. And so, yeah, someone's been trying, someone's been trying to make a decision in around that area. There are, there are feelings. This person has felt romantic um, feelings for you. There is no doubt here. There is Queen of Cups here. And here, that Ace of Pentacles that is not being extended to you. It is not being expressed. It's, um, it is a very solid offer. So your person is debating whether to um, change or not, literally. The higher fund is commitment. Okay, I have the strength. Tell me more about King of Swords. King of Swords, what is this? Is something really clearly spoken? There's a lot of energies here now. Tell me more about this. King of Swords, tell me more. Look at this. These are the energies. Okay. We have Knight of Cups. We have Queen of Wands. We have Six of Wands. We have the Strength and Seven of Pentacles. I mean, they, they all clarify that King of Swords. I feel this person is going to be um, vocal about all these energies. This person in the near future is going to take a little break, Seven of Pentacles, to assess, what am I going to get? What am I going to get if I keep doing this? What will I you know, achieve with Aquarius, with my Aquarius, if I keep doing this. They are going to pause and assess this. Um, so for me, this speaks clearly that this person is going to take a little break. And I feel the Knight of Cups, this, this is beautiful, Six of Wands and Queen of Wands. I feel this person is going to There are aces here. There's ace. There is definitely realization. I feel this person really wants to act on this situation. Why? Because I have queen of wands. For me, this is acting. This is not waiting. This is no longer debating. This is no longer ho holding on to that offer that this person has been holding on to. And they have been sort of aware of this because this clarifies Ace of Swords. So this person in the near future will take a little break and then they will act. And the way I see them act, they are going to come after you and they will offer you, they will open up emotionally, first of all, because this is Knight of Cups. This is Cups energy. This is love and emotion and... I feel this person is going to open up about how they feel about you. Um, the Six of Wands, for me, this person is very confident that this thing between you two will work, will work out, will be successful. And in the meantime, we also, I also got the strength. I mean, this is such a beautiful energy. There is a lot of passion, there's a lot of sexual energy in uh, this card, but also will. This person is going to exercise their own will in order to change that. They will have enough willpower, because this woman is um, 
in such an easy way taming the lion they'll have enough willpower to change the you know knight of wands behavior and it's all over the reading here that there is that this is this is something that's been you know coming from the past two of wands meaning a decision decision they've been sitting on the decision debating with two of wands on the one side is the commitment on, on the one side as i showed you on one side of that juggle is commitment is the emotion on the other side is this type of relationship and approach to your relationship knight of wands inconsistent so i feel that there is a big shift here coming um this person's been using a lot of um, this person has been thinking about the situation between you two they clearly are aware that they are holding on to this offer and they they already feel a regret that things they, things between you aren't you know smooth sailing there's three of cups things have happened between you two there is a regret but i feel because of that love queen of cups this person this person um will have a the current the courage to change themselves the courage to open up emotionally because let's be honest people that only engage in superficial connection like superficial relationships where they you know they they up front say i don't want a relationship i just want you know let's meet up and have fun together or they um you know sugarcoat you and crumb you and etc and down the track you realize this isn't going anywhere and you know that you have you're dealing with someone who's who's basically non-committal. The reason why people do it is because they have not enough confidence. There is many reasons, let's be honest, but there's something that holds this, keeps this person tight. And in terms of emotion and expressing emotion and being vulnerable, that is a no-no for that type of person. But I feel here because there is there is Queen of Cups that is telling me that there is feeling here that this person does have feeling for you. There is Ace of Pentacles that being held on to. So there is another energy that's telling me this person is like wanting to come and say something and open up. They are aware what they're doing. This is coming. This King of Swords, it's an offer. This King of Swords, it's an offer. Very clean and honest. You'll be probably surprised because this King of Swords will speak their mind. Like this person is going to really say it. Um, very likely they may even say why they have been this way. And also, this King has a sword. And this person has enough willpower... To cut that energy and just slash it out of their life. And that's what they're going to do. Because they have enough willpower to do it. Amazing reading. Beautiful energies, um, Aquarius. I feel this um, oracle is asking you to remember not only to invest in love. Not only to kind of like on love I feel the minute you stop I'm going to show you what it says the minute you stop the minute we stop like trying really hard something and I'm not saying that you are trying really hard um, but let me finish that that um, thought the minute you stop the minute you stop trying hard to um impress someone to make someone you know pay attention to you and spend more time and 
the more you are authentic yourself and the more you allow yourself to take care of your other needs and really live well, live a healthy life, exercise, take time to yourself, take spend time with your friends, say to that person, no, I'm spending time with my family, with my friends, then this really helps to make people... Uh, aware that they are dealing with someone who's really all around happy in themselves and they will say mm, this person's this person's going to cut me off their life very soon and i feel um perhaps this is a, this oracle is a little reminder for you to kind of like Take care of yourself and you will see how you shine um, in the eyes of other people. And, and first of all, never don't don't do it for the right for the reason to shine in uh, you know to, to to get likes on Instagram on Facebook or to get compliments. No, do it for yourself. Because that's that's the only thing that matters. And this is where you yourself are going to feel truly happy um, because you will take care of yourself you will pull your energy away from someone who doesn't deserve it it doesn't have to be also this this situation this romantic situation that is pointing to someone who's very inconsistent and on and off let's say you are committed to your passion pull away your energy from that from your from your um, I meant professional life. Pull, pull a bit of your energy away. Make sure that there is balance. Because it, you will benefit as a person. I feel this is it. And this, this romantic situation with this person will be, you know, this, once you um, realize that by being yourself and by taking care of yourself in every aspect of life, you really are um, needing nobody to give you likes, etc. Then this person's gonna, their, their jaw will drop because they will, write, will realize, excuse me, that you are wholeheartedly happy on your own as a person and you don't need anyone's validation. And I feel this is the most powerful way we can be. And, and this is when actually beautiful things come into our life. When we, when we live our life for ourselves, not for others. Um, let's see, Aquarius. I will finish that. I thought this is important. Um, Yes, this is fairly challenging, this energy. Yes, I feel there is an energy of someone who, you know, doesn't, doesn't um, uh, give you much time, doesn't give you much. And yet they, they are aware that they would like to. And it has happened and it started already. It started in the past with this person's, uh, you know, thoughts about making decision and it's coming in the future they are going to um they are going to open up about their feelings and they are going to act um on that behavior this is going to change and i feel you're going to um, feel very happy if this happens and you will arrive at this i am happy and content by myself i'm putting in um, you know, I invest in every area of my life equally, not just this love and romance. Um, and you will feel empowered. And this person's going to seriously, you know, they are going to drop. <laughs> Balance, wow, interesting. You know, this one. And there is a triangle. Third energy disrupts your love in the form of work, family, or um, distraction. I feel clearly this is, you know, this is someone on and off. This is someone who may have been talking to other people. May have. Also, um, this is energy of either the person that you're asking about or your energy as well. 
there is no an offer that a person is kind of like sitting on there, sitting on an offer like a chicken on the neck. Seriously, <laughs> this is how I feel about it. It's brewing. It's 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 in the making, and you get balance as well, which is beautiful. This love is fair and balanced, creating harmony for a strong future. So um, these two kind of are. Um, what do you call it? They 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 are sending completely two different messages, but I feel a that this is a um, collective reading. So for some of you, this person is definitely talking to other people, and you know that. For others of you, this person uh, may have been talking to other people, and now they are. You may be aware that they are kind of like sitting like a chicken on the egg with this offer and will in the near future you are going to see this person opening up about their feelings um and intense you are so different from me very interesting and your body gives me so much pleasure i am so angry with myself that's on the bottom of the deck so i feel this person is definitely the energy of um, this, this, these changes that are happening here, there are clearly some changes. They're very, very uh, much sexually attracted to you. You are so different from me. Perhaps you have more, you know, self-worth and self-confidence and then this person, they are just discovering this, that uh, what's meaningful love between you know me and an Aquarius or just or basically running away always from good thing third house communication this is it um seventh house partnership mass on the bottom of the deck excuse me ambition I feel this is that action that's coming Mars is an um as a planet is a it's a very assertive, it's a very, you know, very powerful energy. There's a lot of aggression, there's a lot of you know, there's action, there's action. And that's to me this, this Queen of Wands, they are going to act on the situation. They will. Okay, this is, I feel, down the track. Down the track, this could involve a um, partnership lifelong partnership here seventh house in astrology deals with one-to-one -one relationships third house um communication i think this is it that's what the oracle is talking about this is coming they're going to tell you that you know um they have had a clarity they have had a clarity of what's what, what's 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 really worth and they are choosing love and they're choosing your connection over running away and and over losing you in fact because that's that's what this uh, would lead to Aquarius thank you for your time and your energy if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to like and subscribe um, Leave me a comment if this resonates. If you did enjoy the content, please, please leave me a like. I do appreciate that. This is the only way that you can kind of um, let me know that you enjoyed watching this, this reading that I made for you. If you didn't enjoy this content, <laughs> that's okay. Of course, you don't have to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me to build this channel and it helps me to kind of deliver these readings to you so that you don't miss out um that's all that i have for you today thank you for your time and your energy and i'll speak to you soon goodbye for now